So, let's try a boxing game. So far, I haven't been pissed off yet in any of these games. Hopefully, this will change. Hopefully, this is a shitty boxing game. Welcome to Boxing Legends of the Ring. Is Mike Tyson in this? Wait, this was like early 90s. So I'm guessing yes. Ooh, Lamada! Fuck! No! Password? Some stamina. <laughs> Take it on, man. I don't know who Hearns is, but he looks like a crackhead. Take it on Lamada. Let's do this. And Michael Buffer lends his voice to this swimming, eh? So, the only thing I can do is punch. Ooh, yeah. Go, go. Punch him in the fucking fi- Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Take this little Tell you punch that fucking guy in the dick. Oh, I can just hold this button down? Well, that's better, because I... All right. Well, I'm holding this button down and punching the fuck out of him. I recently watched Family Matters online. I'm on the third season. I like it, it's classic. The one thing I have to talk about is that pisses me off about that show is motherfucking Harriet Winslow. Fucking bitch is the most fucking cunt ass bitch I've ever seen on any TV show. She does not smile in any fucking episode, gives out the fucking worst attitude I ever seen. Always thinks she's right. Never is gives out a lending hand. The only time I've ever seen that bitch smile was in the opening credits. And she's always a fucking bitch to Carl. I always has to have that fucking attitude of putting one arm on her side and tilting her head to the side, thinking she's all the fucking shit. Fuck you, Harriet Winslow. The actress, I don't have a problem with. I'm just saying the character of Harriet Winslow, fucking hell. Yeah, also Carl Winslow is the best character of all time, but goddamn is he a hypocrite. It was like the one episode where he goes like, Oh, son, it is no problem being me and my girls. Women are today's society, blah, 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 blah. And then later on he gets beaten by his wife. And he goes like, oh, I can't take this shit. Lamada looks fucked up. Oh, I finally won. Don't get the fuck up. What are you counting for? He's already up. Eight. Look at the same. Carl Winslow is a hypocrite. Hypocrite. Like a, yeah. It's like, yeah, his wife beats him into, in a bowling game and goes all ballistic. Eddie Winslow is a, uh, 
He's a fucking cunt as well. Every episode he says like, oh, I'm sorry, Steve. I'll make it up to you, Steve. We'll be best friends, Steve. We're bonding, Steve. And then the next episode, boom, like nothing happened. He treats him like shit all the fucking time. It's like the talks he had from before to every episode has never happened. No continuity. I can't say that word. Continuity. Fuck. You know what I'm talking about. Mama Winslow is funny as fuck, but her talking about sex or her reverting to sex is kind of disgusting. I don't know. Old people, man. Old people should not talk about sex. Oh, Judy Winslow. God damn. It's like, why the fuck? You can tell that the um, writers don't give a shit about her because like, it's all about Eddie and Laura. And she's barely ever seen in season two. I, I want to make a drinking game to see. Every time you see Judy show up in an episode, take a shot. Because she's barely ever there. Season three is, is funny because like they have well, this one episode where they talk about Judy is failing a class. And you don't see her until like later on in the episode. And she's studying. All of a sudden it's all good again. It's like a minor plot hole that never happened. Oh my god, I'm getting so fucking bored already at this game. All I have to do is punch this fucker. Repeatedly was one button and I literally I don't have to do anything else. I know this isn't Mike Tyson's punch out, but come on, it could be better. Why are you counting when he's standing up? I'm not gonna move anywhere, I'm just gonna let him come towards me. Underneath, boom. Sonic boom on your ass. That's Who else am I missing? Oh, Harriet's sister. What's her name? And Aunt Rachel? Damn, she's fine. I don't remember her much when I was growing up, but now as I look back on her, she, God, God damn, she's one fine woman. And she can sing, too. As for Earth Girl, Jaleel White is the man, is all I can say. And goddamn, was the Family Matters ever so boring before Steve Urkel showed up. It was the most boring piece of shit I ever seen. What well, knocked down 256 to his 49, but that, that's just sad. It was round three, let's do this fucking thing. Oh, it's for Laura. She's Laura, what do you have to, what else do I have to talk about? She treats Steve like shit. Yet, I think she's loved him from the beginning, because like, there are certain moments in the episode where she, you can tell that she does have feelings for him, even though she doesn't say anything. Either that or I'm just going nuts seeing this. But I'm pretty sure that Laura did love Steve from the very beginning. I'm not saying the whole thing about like um, where she apologizes in later on. I'm saying the little moments, like this one episode where uh, Steve asks her, like, uh, I'm sure you do love me deep down inside. Come on, admit it. And she thinks about it for two seconds. If she didn't really love the guy, she wouldn't think about it for two seconds. She hesitated a bit. Like I said, maybe it's just me that I've seen too, way too much shit into this, but they did end up marrying each other. And it is funny how Steve Urkel keeps on mentioning that 
he wants to get married in the future, and Future, yet in the end they do get married. Fuck Lamada up, yo! Stay down! Oh, fuck! <sighs> Sorry, yawning. I said yawning. So watching the old school of Family Matters is always awesome to see. Am I missing anyone? Pretty much talked about every character on there. Can't wait till season four when Judy, when Judy walks up the stairs and never walks back down again. And that's the last time we ever see of her. Literally, season four, in one episode, she just walks out up the stairs. Never to be seen ever again. Well, it's not surprising that they don't, never did anything for her since she, you can obviously tell the writers did not give one shit about her character. Oh, by the way, do you know the girl that played Judy came, went up, grew up to become a porn star? Look it up on IMDB.com. My childhood is kind of ruined. Not really. I'm sure Miles, you haven't watched some of her porn. She's an adult. Yes, I'll watch it. rounds are there in a boxing match? I, I don't watch boxing, so sue me. I think there's eight or something. Who know who the fuck knows? I'm doing this the entire time. So speaking of TGIF, the early good shit from TGIF. Anybody remember to show Baby's Day? Not Baby's Day. What the fuck am I saying? Baby Talk! Where Tony Danza did the voice of one of the babies. This was before Luke was talking. Or was it after? I don't have no idea. They didn't run for too long, but it was an awesome show. Also, On Her Own was awesome. It's a Mrs. Doubtfire with the black comedy in it. Except the brother dresses up as an old lady instead of the father. One World is also a good show. Guy adopts a bunch of children. The most memorable episode is the James, one where James Avery guest starred on there one time and told the black kid to fuck off and how to date his daughter. Good old James Avery, the voice of Shredder. And Mike Tyson's not in this game. I be playing him all the time. I'm Mike Tyson. I'm a, I'm a spokesperson for BT. I fucked his voice up. Fuck. Sorry about that. How do you fuck up Mike Tyson's voice? Let me try it one more time. Hi, I'm Mike Tyson. And I'm gonna sponsor. What? I'm not even gonna attempt to do it anymore. So speaking of Lamada, Robert Nero played it in Raging Bull. What a goddamn awesome transformation from him going from a skinny fucker to the fattest fuck ever. Take the upper punch. Take it. Take it. 
five hopefully this is the last round or maybe there's six there we go I found a punching button to come up with the characters in the crowd area really didn't come up with much because there's I see like four people that look like each other back to back it's a guy who was like the the 70s hairstyle porn and staff I see like four of them in the front row and I think I think I think I see Geraldo sitting there right beside him Geraldo sitting right beside the woman in blue. And I think Vincent D'Onofrio from Law and Order Criminal Intent is on there too, sitting beside the bald-headed dude with the cap on, with the Fu Man Julie mustache. He looks like Detective Gorin. Longest Tobo Noob episode you've ever seen, haven't you? This is probably, yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. We're making history today, folks. Not really. Quick like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Come on, motherfucker, do it with me. Okay, I'm gonna try that again. Swing like a butterfly, sting like a tree. Fuck, sting like a tree, no. Smooth like a butterfly, no. fuck. What the fuck is this line? I swing like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Rumble, young man, rumble. Something like that. You know this is Muhammad Ali. This guy's in turn, but fuck it, whatever. I'll say it anyway. Sting like a butterfly. Yeah. Let me put you in the face. Let's see. Is there a round six? Maybe. Green girl, yes? And there is a round six. Let's do this shit. So what's that movie called with Robert De Niro and Sylvester Stallone? going at each other in the boxing ring. And if you want to watch Rocky. I talked about this before, haven't I? Yes, I have. Anyways, I'm not gonna say anymore. Let's see, what else have I not talked about? Or haven't talked about? finally downloaded the uh, Doctor Who series from the 1960s. I downloaded the, I think seasons one through four, because I got the whole 26 seasons in the movie, or is it 25 seasons in the movie or something? I can watch.
watch it all in order, and then we rewatched the uh, Christopher Eccleston Doctor Who series. And as for who's my favorite doctor so far, it's Doctor. E I was going to call him Doctor Eccleston. I'm going to say Christopher Eccleston because he's the first doctor I ever seen. Everybody says David Tennant, but I'll go with Christopher Eccleston. David Tennant was a badass, though. Oh, he's down. Oh, I finally win. Wait. Yay. And he's down like a bitch. Let's see what my stats are. Eight times I knocked him down, huh? Not bad. Not bad for a noob. A total noob, that is. Ha ha. 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 I'll shut up now. Anyways, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoy. Humanoid Freak out.